Hey everyone, welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we'll be taking a look at the Iron Man Mark 46 DLX collectible figure by 30 from Captain America Civil War. The box is a gatefold design. The front features a three-quarter image of the Mark 46 standing tall, chest thrust forward and shoulders back on a background of a cloudy night sky. A gold foil partial frame, evocative of a circuit board, leads the eye down the right edge of the box to the Captain America Civil War logo at the figure's waist, with a red banded panel at the bottom framing the text identifying the figure within. That gold foiled circuit board motif is also featured on the sides of the box where the name of the figure is also prominently displayed. Opening the gatefold gives collectors their first glimpse of the figure in its clamshell and reveals another image of the full figure flanked by a trio of inset images highlighting some key features of the DLX Mark 46. Opening the box allows us to remove the two clamshells that contain everything that comes with the figure. There's the Mark 46 in the center surrounded by an assortment of swap out hands as well as a pair of interchangeable wrist rocket accessories for the forearms. In the second clamshell, you'll find a quartet of repulsor effects as well as the figure stand and its base. Additionally, a set of instructions and a warranty sheet are also included. Pulling everything out of the box gives us a better idea of what all we have to work with. There's the Mark 46 standing a full 6.9 inches tall on its base. To the right, you see the swap out wrist rocket accessories as well as the four repulsor effects, two for the feet and two for the hands. To the left are the swap out hands, including two pairs of shooting hands, a pair of flying hands, and a pair of relaxed hands. Taking a head-to-toe look at the figure, we can see that the characteristic tones of metallic hot rod red dominate most of it, interlaced with accents of silver and gold. The top of the head is removable so that one can access the battery compartment as well as the button to activate the light-up features there. Similarly, the entire torso separates from the lower half of the figure to reveal the controls for the light-up feature in the arc reactor. Four of the included hands feature keyholes into which you can insert the repulsor effects. And the same is true of the feet. The tops of the forearms can be removed and substituted with their equivalents featuring the exposed wrist rockets. And there's a small piece right here that can be removed for installation of the figure support. Now let's take a look at the articulation of the DLX Mark 46. The head rests on a double jointed neck and can shift forward, back, side to side, and all points in between. In addition to its ability to rotate a full 360 degrees, the head will also look down about 45 degrees and up about 25 degrees. With about 40 degrees of lateral tilt to either side. The flaps at the back are articulated and can be displayed either flush or deployed. The pauldrons can be moved out of the way to avoid collisions when manipulating the shoulder joints, which will shrug, dip, press, and row. Additionally, a combination of joints in the shoulder will allow for 100 degrees of lateral lift. And the arms can rotate laterally or posteriorly a full 360 degrees. The double jointed elbows will allow for the maximum desirable range of bicep flex. And the arms can rotate at the shoulder joints. The torso is highly articulated and can achieve more than 45 degrees of ab crunch, as well as a decent bit of extension. The upper torso will allow for about 20 degrees of lateral crunch. And there's a full 45 degrees of torso twist to be had to either side. The tops of the thighs can be lifted out of the way and the legs can be lowered so as to provide more clearance for leg movement. There's about 70 degrees of lateral leg raise to be had with this figure. Anterior lift approaches 90 degrees. And there's about 15 degrees of posterior lift. The double jointed knees will allow for about 160 degrees of hamstring flex and the legs will also rotate at the thigh. The tops and backs of the boots will lift out of the way allowing for an excellent range of extension, contraction, pronation, and supination. As well as a final point of articulation at the balls of the feet. Finally, let's take a close up look at the included accessories. In addition to the fists that come attached to the figure, you'll also find a pair of relaxed hands, 
a pair of flight hands that allow for the inclusion of the repulsor effects, as well as two pairs of firing hands, one pair that allows for the inclusion of the repulsor effects and one that's purely cosmetic. Also, here's a closer look at the swap out wrist rocket pieces. And finally, there's the stand and base that includes title text identifying the figure it accompanies. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Iron Man Mark 46 DLX collectible figure by 3-0 from Captain America Civil War. Be sure to watch Unsealed and Revealed, How to Be a Poser, and Strike a Pose for even more posable figure content from Sideshow. If you'd like more information on the figure featured in this video, follow the link below. And as always, don't forget to let your geek side show. Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen. If you'd like more information about the product featured in this video, click the link provided under Product Info. Again, thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.